guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you for joining me once again. All right, guys, we are doing another Oscar Blues Brewing uh, beer tonight. Um, this is one that I haven't touched on yet. It was called Gordon originally. Now it's called Goodnight. Um, Gordon Biersch decided they didn't like the beer called Gordon, so they I guess they put a cease and desist out. And Oscar Blues, instead of canning the beer, pardon the expression, um, decided to change the name to Goodnight. Um, it's an 8.7% Imperial Red Ale, available year-round. Comes in these convenient little four packs. But let me get into a glass. You know how it smells, tastes. And give you guys the verdict on Oscar Blues Goodnight Imperial Red Ale. Um, well, it kind of lives up to its name. It's like a dark orange, verging on red, depending on where the light hits it. A um, little bit of haze in there. I'm assuming that's some hop haze. Nice off-white khaki head. Nice big bubbles. Alcohol sticking to the glass. Uh, lacing from the head sticking to the glass. Lots of carbonation coming through in this one, although you wouldn't know it opening the can. There wasn't a lot coming out, but actually it looks a lot like an Imperial IPA, so uh, intrigued by this one. Just a nice looking beer. Yeah, it's big and hoppy and citrusy, pine needles, west coasty, for lack of a better word. But at the same time, there's some nice malt in there. Um, it's kind of a sweet, bready malt. Light alcohol notes. Um, getting some sweet hops in there as well. Some peach, mango. Definitely on the back side of that. Kind of like in the a finishing flavor. But it's a really nice smelling beer. Um, it's not like... It's the hoppiest red I've ever smelled. Alright, so the taste of the night. Um, getting nice caramel notes, nice bready notes in there that you're supposed to get from the from the typical red style beer. But at the same time, you're getting these big West Coast bittering, you know, grapefruit pininess, piney hops coming through in this one. I'm also getting touches of that sweet um, kind of hop to it, that you know, that ripe fruit, that apricot, that middle of the country type of hop flavor. Really, really nice balanced beer. You do get that caramel, those, those caramel notes really help to balance out the hops. In the mouth, there's a bunch of bitterness in the front, but there's not a whole lot of carbonation. Um, it looks like there would be, but it's a really nice kind of soft feeling beer. Um, kind of lingers around in your mouth to kind of develop the hop flavor. There's a nice, there's a dry finish on this one actually, um, but the aftertaste is kind of a sweet, really sweet grapefruit. Um, really nice stuff, really smooth tasting beer, nice, nice mouthfeel, just a really, really easy to drink beer. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the good night from Oscar Blues Brewing coming in at 8.7%, available year-round in four packs. Check it out while you can. It's in cans only. Um, I'm going to give this one an A, um, but it's really a red ale for hop heads. I think that's the best way to describe it. There's a lot of West Coast in this one, grapefruit, piney, big dry finish, but at the same time, there's those sweet malt characters that you want in a traditional red beer. Um, you know, toffee and caramel notes blending with the citrus and the bitterness and just makes it a really overall an easy to drink beer. Nice, nice mouthfeel. It's got this really soft kind of velvet feel. It almost like, feels like a, a bottle conditioned ale, if that makes any sense. Um, but it's just really nice to drink, really nice mouthfeel, not cloying, not too bitter. Um, just a great beer, 8.7%. I don't taste the alcohol at all, so you could probably pound these suckers back pretty easily. Um, but just great stuff. I'm going to give it an A, and I highly recommend it. Another hit for Oscar Blues. So with that said, guys, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers. <laughs>